video I did with the board, I had a comment mentioning uh, it's difficult on using on stains on ceilings, you seem to get flashing, or on walls. And I'm going to emulsion the board, put some stains on there, and emulsion it again, and then I'll put the stain block on and show you how to use it. It's all about stains, water stains, um, any type of stain really. Uh, that's the Zinsa bin primer will block that. So I've got some ink here. Um, I'm not going to draw straight lines. I'll just put a circle there. A circle there. One in one here. There you go. Now I'm going to leave that to dry off a little bit. Um, it shouldn't take long. And then I'm going to put a coat of emulsion on there and uh, see what happens. Time to give this another coat of emulsion and then uh, see what happens. Let that dry now and then uh, we'll come back to it. I'll probably give it a second coat of emulsion and then we'll start with the stain block. But we'll leave that to dry. So you come back to the wall and you go, hmm, another coat will sort that out. It should get rid of them. So let's give it another coat. I'll let that dry again. Them two are definitely already coming through. Um, I can't quite see the others, but as it dries, they'll probably bleed through. So I'll let that dry. They've bled back through on the second coat. The actual, the black ones, they've uh, obviously the ink wasn't strong enough, so. They've not bled through. So I'm going to put another coat on, so this will be the third coat. Um, and this is just to show you, it doesn't matter how many coats you put on sometimes, some paints, uh, some inks will just keep coming back through. They're still bleeding through them stains. If you carried on putting emulsion on, maybe by the tenth coat, they might stop. But that's why we use a stain block. So I've got it ready, um, big primer, and what you need to do, just roll that out there, make sure you don't have loads on, and when you put it on, spread it out and do, blend it to the edges, so sat on the stains, Slowly blend it out to the edges. 
And when you do it working with it like this, you can, can you know, you can carry on going over it because you're trying to smooth it out at the same time. You don't want to be leaving loads of lines. That's not too bad at all. Right, that's not too bad at all. Sometimes what you'll find is they look like they're bleeding through on that, but that will actually dry and trap in that stain. So I'll leave that as it is. 45 minutes and we'll put a coat of emulsion on it and then we'll uh, let that dry. Usually you have to put two coats of emulsion on. And when it's actually drying, it's going to dry faster around the outside there than it will on the stain block itself. It can take forever to dry on that bit. You always think, what's going on there? It's not, it's not drying or it's, it's flashing. But it just takes ages. And then, you know, second coat it. And always check it 24 hours later because half the time it's the fact you've not allowed everything to dry fully that you're seeing any marks. That's dry enough now, so I'm going to give that its first coat of emulsion. I'm not going to bother cutting it in again, but what you need to do this time is spread it out evenly and go over the area where your actual um, stain block finishes by a little. So again, the same process as putting the stain block on. Just make sure you go over the area. Nice even coat and then feather off to the edges again. Right, I'm going to allow that to dry. That's dry. I'm just going to give it a light sand over. Dust that off. repeat the process because it's still you can still see it it's quite dark bin primer is really too white and then it's a feather off to the edges right then I'll leave that to dry There you go, that's had two coats of emulsion, 24 hours to dry, and it's looking great. I hope you found that video helpful, um, and you know a little bit more now about blocking stains. Um, I'm going to do a few more videos with this board, um, bin primer as well, so I'll see you in the next one.